speaking to his apprentice aboard the Star Destroyer Executor, Darth Sidious, Dark Lord of the Sith, issued the proclamation, The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. Yet become a Jedi, he did. Saving his father's soul from the clutches of the Emperor, Luke Skywalker would go on to fulfill his true destiny by successfully restoring the Jedi Order to their place in the galaxy. The students of this new Jedi Order would encompass not only friends and comrades whom Skywalker would meet after the fall of the Empire, but loved ones as well, from his sister Leia and her three children to Emperor's hand-turned smuggler Mara Jade, with whom Luke would father his own son, Ben, the next Skywalker. Aboard the converted Star Destroyer, Errant Venture, some 26 years after the Battle of Yavin, Ben Skywalker was born into a galaxy once again at war this time with the race of biological nightmares, the Yuuzhan Vong. Being ranking Jedi Masters of the Highest Order, it fell upon the shoulders of Luke and Mara Jade to not only continue building their fledgling order, but to also lead it against the Yuuzhan Vong. As such, young Ben would spend his formative years under the care of Han and Leia Solo on Coruscant, but not even the New Republic capital was safe from the Vong, and when Coruscant fell a year later, it would be renamed Yuuzhan Tar and remain in the clutches of the Vong for the rest of the war. After the fall of Coruscant and the Jedi Academy on Yavin 4, Ben and several other Force-sensitive younglings were sent to hide in the old weapons installation within the Maw Cluster, repurposed by Lando Calrissian. Skywalker would stay hidden for the rest of the war, but at such a young age, he was unable to prevent himself feeling the lives of countless millions lost and the horror would cause Ben to close himself off from the Force for the rest of his childhood. Five years after the war with the Vong ended, Skywalker, now eight years old, would be caught up in another invasion, the Swarm War, after several Jedi Knights, including Ben's own cousin Jaina, go missing investigating a telepathic call from the Unknown Regions. Beyond the borders of the Galactic Alliance, the Jedi discovered a race of insectoids known as the Killicks. Originally from the planet Alderaan, the Killick race had vanished from the galaxy millennia earlier, but were now encroaching on the territory of the Chiss Ascendancy under the influence of Knight Sister Lomi Plo and fallen Jedi Alema Rar. The Skywalkers soon discovered their students were being assimilated into the hive mind of the Killick Dark Nest, a process which the youngest Skywalker found himself struggling with. During this time, Jason Solo, who had been wandering the galaxy learning more about the nature of the Force, returns from his five-year sojourn now harder and more morally compromised than the boy who had fought the Yuuzhan Vong. Thanks to the combined efforts of the Galactic Alliance, the Chiss Ascendancy, and the Jedi Order, the Dark Nest was defeated and Lomi Plo killed. Young Skywalker was taken under the tutelage of Jason, who had begun helping Ben re-establish his connection with the Force. For the next several years, Ben would continue his training under Solo, though this was informal training, not associated with any official teachings of the Jedi Order. Nevertheless, Ben grew to admire his cousin, and trust him more than he trusted even his own parents. After several attempts in the past, the Krillian system would finally secede from the Galactic Alliance in 40 ABY, sparking the Second Galactic Civil War. When Karelian terrorists commit attacks on Coruscant, a secret police known as the Galactic Alliance Guard was established under the command of Jason Solo, with young Ben as his second. In the name of security and stability, Solo would use the GAG to gain more authority in the Galactic Alliance, his gradual slip to the dark side culminating in the death of Mara Jade at the hands of Solo, who would then assume the mantle of Darth Kytus. When Skywalker discovered Jason was responsible for the death of his mother, Ben would attempt to assassinate his cousin, finally abandoning Kaidas to be struck down by his own twin, Jaina, ending the war. Two years later, blaming him for failing to prevent the fall of his nephew and the ensuing war, Alliance Chief Da'ala exiled Jedi Grandmaster Luke Skywalker until it could be definitively proven as to how Solo fell. Out of loyalty and love, Ben Skywalker accompanied his father as they retraced the steps of Jason Solo's five-year journey, visiting sects of Force users known as the Baron Du, the Ang Tai, and the Mindwalkers of Sinkhole Station. While at Sinkhole Station, the Skywalkers were attacked by descendants from the Lost Tribe of the Sith. The two would cross paths with the Sith during the rest of their journey, which culminated in an alliance between the Skywalkers and the Lost Tribe against the dark side entity known as Abeloth, bringer of chaos and mother to the ones on Mortis. 
With the aid of the former Sith, Vistara Kai, the Skywalkers hunt Abeloth across the galaxy, but Abeloth takes control of the Galactic Alliance, devastating the capital planet. Ben and Vistara, who had grown close during their search for Abeloth, managed to kill her last mortal vessel, sending her to the realm beyond shadows, where Abeloth is defeated, seemingly for good, by Luke Skywalker and former Jedi Asharad Het, also known as Darth Krayt. The Skywalker line would continue on through Ben, whose descendant Cade would roam the galaxy over a hundred years after the Battle of Yavin, but that's another story. For the full story of Ben Skywalker, read Star Wars, The Dark Nest Crisis, Legacy of the Force, and Fate of the Jedi from Del Rey. If you want more Legends content, click the thumbs up and subscribe buttons, and share this video so the knowledge gets out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next Legend.